Hi, welcome to lesson 2. Today I'll teach you how to code this GUI. Let's just recap what we did in lesson 1. We made three labels, three text boxes, and a button. For the three labels, we gave each one a text property and a name property. For each text box, we only gave a name property. We didn't give it a text property because we don't want anything to be pre-typed into the text boxes. We created a calculate button which we named CMD calculate and the text property was calculate. Now, for code, you want the code to run in whichever prop in, in whichever control is used. So say someone types something into the text box for length. If you want something to happen to that value, you t you put your code into that private sub. To make a private sub for a control, <coughs> you double click it on the GUI. We have uh, we have something here. It's called a private sub, and we created it specifically for txt length. Now we don't need that, so we can delete it. Go back to your GUI. What about all of these? Same thing. You would double click on it, and it would create a private sub for it. It doesn't matter how many private subs you have. I have a whole lot. Let's create. One. Let's get one for CMD calculate. <coughs> we have made one now, right? Our code is going to go in here because we want text box text value of length times text value of width to equal the text value of area when this button is clicked. First of all, is are we going to type anything into area? No, only the only the answer is going to go here. So let's go to our property property window find read only select true uh, that's done area the text box for area should be grayed out <coughs> let's go into our calculate private sub what, what was our original calculation length times width equals area. Let me tell you right now, you always want your answer to be <coughs> in the beginning. So we want area in the front. Like that. Just like that. Area equals length times width. So we don't want, do we name anything area, length, or width on our GUI? No. So let's put in the text box since that is where the information is going to go. We don't want to mult. We don't want to use label because the user didn't use label at all. TXT area. We assign that on our GUI and TXT length <coughs> and TXT width. Now we have that, that all defined. We come over here, like click anywhere outside that line. Now there's something wrong here. TXT length and TXT width and TXT area. Those are all actual text boxes. <coughs> we don't want a physical text box multiplied by another physical text box to equal a physical text box. That's just retarded. We want the text inside the text box multiplied the text inside of the other text box. So how would we do that? Go to the end of txt length and type in dot text. And same for width and the same thing for area now we have that done there's one other thing wrong the X X is a letter not a calculation the true symbol for multiplication is <coughs> sorry I know that hurt your ears hurt mine uh, that means multiply txt area dot text equals txt length dot text times txt width dot text we have that done come up here and find start debugging it's also known as the build button click it our program should appear with the name form 1 let's type in some information Five, five. Right? Calculate. And here's our answer. K 
can't type anything in here because we changed the read only to true. Now exit out. <coughs> we can exit that out. Go back to our GUI. We have our basic, basic, basic program running, working, functional. Let's add something. Let's add a reset button. Go over here, select button, and drag a button. Now that's done. Come over here to our properties window. While that is selected, find text. Change that to reset. Go down to name. Let's change this to CMD reset. Now that's done. Let's double click it to get into this private cell. Now, the symbol for blank or empty is two quotes. Let's see, let's type in txt blank dot text equal and just follow me, txt width dot text equals txt area dot text. So we coded our reset button to equal blank once it's clicked. Let's go up to our build button and build it. Should appear. Type in whatever. Now we have we have all of our information. Hit reset. Everything clears. Try that again. So enter a higher number. Calculate. Hmm. Reset. Let's X that out. 